So, I thought I'd just so show you something I finished at work today. This is a pneumatic piston engine. That uh, means, well, it's a small piston engine that runs out of compressed air. And, well, yeah, up there is the piston. And if I turn the flywheel, you can see it moving up and down. And, yeah. Now, yeah, um... I don't really have the proper tubing for this, so I'm currently just using aquarium tubing, but it does work surprisingly well actually. It handles the pressure uh, quite good so far, I haven't had any issues. And since my hardware store, that is the only, that's literally the smallest tube they sell, the aquarium tube, and that's the only thing that fits into this system which I'm using, which is a bit out of date. But hey, it's the only thing I have that actually fits anything like that because the um, uh, valve for the intake hose, um, which we got, is smaller than that. Yeah, this is the only thing I can actually use right now. At home, at least. And yeah, you can probably tell I just slipped the uh, aquarium tube right over the nozzle of the blowgun. And hey, it does work even though it's not the best way to do it. So, well, this thing does um, run up to two bar. Hmm. I have two bar on the system. Let's pull the trigger and see what happens. It works absolutely perfectly. Now, yeah, the, I actually made this uh, most without uh, machines that have a digital interface that show me everything up to 0, 0.000 0 millimeters. But hey, it uh, all turned out pretty well. It was a little difficult to do, and I did actually mess up uh, some small pieces in here. For example, some of the screws up here are not exactly in the position where they're supposed to be. But, yeah, that's not an important piece, doesn't uh, really uh, take um, or damage the function if it's not, if it's slightly incorrect, but hey, for one of our first projects, this is actually quite good, I would say. So, well, how do you adjust the throttle on this engine? We have a screw. Turn that in, the engine runs a lot slower. Turn it out, and the engine will run a lot faster and louder. Now I sealed the uh, this unit with some Teflon tape because, well, we didn't have any Teflon to work, and uh, there was air escaping, and that's why the engine didn't ran that well when I had finished it, because air was leaking out of the top, out of the screw, out of the bottom and so on and so forth but hey since I've got the Teflon in there everything works just fine so yeah small simple engine quite uh, manageable or simple to do it's not the hardest part but hardest project but it's also not the easiest project but hey just to getting used to all the machines this thing is an absolute winner and probably a good project for beginners, maybe. But yeah, getting pistons and all that stuff working eh, for a beginner would maybe be a bit difficult because that uh, the sizes here have to be exact. If they're not, you can do the whole piece again. There's no way to actually save that. But eh, everything works. So yeah, thought you might find that interesting.